Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants. Once again, playing some of the more fantastic The Morrigan today. So a couple of things that have cropped up since the uh, the last time, apart from the... Mm, useless is a harsh word, but the, the hammer that doesn't serve as much purpose. So last time I was making a bit of a fuss about that noise. That noise is the sound of me doing a charged attack, or charging up an attack by holding in the trigger of the uh, of the sword hand. So I don't know why I was holding in the trigger, but apparently that's what I was doing. The second thing that's happened since last week is the Pixel Mine, who are actually the developers of the game. Oop, clicky click. Uh, commented on, oh, have they taken away the last one? No, we didn't do the ramparts, did we? We did, we did the bridge and the garden. That was it, yes, it is the ramparts next. Which we haven't done, and then we have the new level which is the gates. Ooh. Yes, so Pixel Mine, the game developers, commented and said, first of all, you know that I mentioned that the uh, bow feels a little more awkward to use in other games. Well, that's because there is absolutely no aim assist in this game, which is why it's a little bit, a little bit more shaky than you might be used to. There's no sort of stabilization in there built into it. So that explains that. It also means that my incredibly amazing shooting with the uh, number of headshots I had last time, is entirely down to skill. No aim assist, nothing, no sort of uh, homing beacon on the arrows towards the enemies. It's all down to my skill. How nice is that? How unusual is that as well? So anyway, today, on with the ramparts, and then depending on how long the ramparts take, the assumption was we'll uh, bang through this one fairly quick and then get on with the new boss that's arrived. So then, on we go. Okay. All very quiet and suspicious, and I just dropped my bow, haven't I? Yes, I just dropped my bow, because that's normally the run button. I always get confused. Fair enough. Oh, hello. You can't come all the way down, so what is your plan from there? Not entirely sure you have one, mate, do you? Hello. That's quite cool. I like that. So it looks like this guy's plan is just to stay out of the way. So I can't shoot him, which is, uh, in his defense, pretty good plan. Pretty good plan. Why have I got a shield out on that arm? I mean, come on now, moving target, double headshot, boom, boom. That's how we do it, Sunshine, that's how we do it. Where's your head? If I could pick your head up, oh, those arrows have disappeared, so you can't see how amazing I am. Take it on faith. <laughs> so obviously we need a key to get through there. Make sure my sword's in the right place still. Still have my shield? Still have my shield, okay. We need a key to get through there. What's in here? Can I shoot through? I can. Okay then, well, sucks to be you, mate. I don't think I've had nothing which isn't a headshot yet. It's definitely not going to last, so we don't have to get too used to it. But look at that. Look at that. Basically the same spot on his forehead. Is this going to bring this guy to life? I was kind of half expecting that to... Uh... Yeah, it's me holding in the grip. The holding in the grip does it as well, not just the trigger. Which I am apparently terrible for. Drop that there. Let's, uh... Is that not the inventory button? Nope. Oh, it's the, um... Yes, it's the VR button thing, isn't it? Let's pop this in the inventory. It's still stacked with meat from last time, which is nice. And then three full health potions. Also nice. I suppose it tells us the... Uh, have we got an axe in the main game? I'm wondering. I need to stop holding that button. Wondering how much damage the axe actually does compared to the sword. I was also wondering if you could draw an arrow whilst you're holding a weapon, which obviously you can't, and it would be silly if you could. Well, of course, yes, because we've got the key now, haven't we? I suppose we don't need to go up there. Let's get rid of that axe. Let's uh, get the key. Click. Do I just let go? Oh, I just sort of press the button next to it. Fair enough. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. This is more like it. A few missed shots. Oh, where were you just now? I mean, these are quite close range. I'm not going to make much of a big deal about those. That's uh, nothing special there, is it? Okay. Looks like the roof's going to fall in on us at any moment. Oh, not so good then. Where are we going? What was that sound? Sound like there must be a trap going off somewhere. Oh, so this is above where we got to before, is it? I'm guessing... I'm guessing so. It doesn't look quite right, does it? Oh no, yes it does. Yes it does, okay. I recognise it. Hello, catapults. Do I get to fire a catapult? There's literally nothing else to do, is there? To give me his head to put in there, it is. Okay. And some more. Oh, I wondered where he was for a second. The weirdest hack he did as well. I think we're full. Alright. Blimey. Oh, hello. What are their heads made out of? That's my question. What are their heads made out of? Because, I mean... What was the... Uh... Well, they've changed the... Uh... Teleport button. That's all the... the um... Oh, teleport visuals. That's all a little bit different, isn't it? It's a bit more, uh, a bit more fancy. I like that. Ah, so that's where we're going. I wonder if we have to get to use the other catapult as well to knock down that one, but apparently not. Very barren landscape, isn't it? And, uh... And it's just a dead bird? Just a dead bird? Okay, just a dead bird. And creepy statues. More dead bird. Oh, in fact, I was going to say, dead bird down there. The walls are covered in them. Didn't recognize that before, or realize that before, I should say. This looks like something horrible is going to happen to me, doesn't it? Am I going to get attacked by all of these birds at once? Oh, hello, you weren't there just now, were you? Pretty sure you weren't. Freaky statues. Oh, not a big fan of that. What was that game called? Oh, Dread Halls. <laughs> That's exactly what the Dread Hall statues did, and I didn't appreciate that either. Yeah, if you want to see me uh, crap my pants, and you've already watched Paranormal Activity, then you can always go and check out Dread Halls, because that's, uh, yeah, filled with moments like that, unfortunately. Oh, we've unlocked an axe. In that case, let's return to town and see what that axe is like. First of all, let's check what our sword is like. Uh, 120. Where's the axe? Ah. Nope. Uh, a 120 slash. That's okay, actually. I think I'm quite happy with that. Let's drop that. It's impossible to do when you're holding something. Let's just... Pop, I was going to try and pop that on the table, but it's not work. Let's go with an axe. Let's just go whack a dummy a few times, because uh, I suppose I could whack you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can live with that. Has it gone on to the... I mean, that was definitely very short, wasn't it? We can just check the time to make sure. Yes. 
Okay. To the gates we go where I've been promised a boss fight of some form awaits us. Blah, blah, blah. Teleport. Creepy statues? Oh, we can't go back and see the creepy statues. Or oh, is the door open the other way? No, we just can't see the creepy statues. That's not a bad thing, I guess. I can live. Oh my word. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I'll tell you that for nothing. Ah. Protected eye. We have some sort of force field. Yeah, okay. So there's a little, uh... Little lift over there. I'm guessing when we stand on this, something horrible happens. Not yet it doesn't. Not yet it doesn't. And I have to assume he's the boss. I have very little other information to go on other than the fact that there's a... A giant beast in front of us. Let's go stand on this and see what happens. Yeah, okay. There are definitely some skeletons over there. I don't know why it wouldn't let me shoot them. I assume I'm going to make my way around there. Is he going to come alive at some point and smash out one of the corridors we're trying to traverse? Is that what we're anticipating? This looks... Oh, I was going to say this looks weird. Dead end, but it is not. I don't even mean to let go of that. Still got pretty close. Oh, if I didn't get that one, I was going to get my axe out. The game is psychic! Oh, ho, 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 son! Oh, ho, ho. How am I doing for money? I'm guessing... Yeah, Indy did say can you can always replay the earlier level so you can get hold of more monies. So you can go and buy fancy swords. So I did consider doing that, but... decided to plow ahead. We do have the new... Oh, hello. The new axe now anyway, which is something. Okay, yeah, see, this is where it all goes wrong. Didn't even see that guy. That's a problem. Come on then. Come on then. What happened to my shield there? Eh? What happened to my shield there? Well, the axe works pretty well on those, doesn't it? Did the job marvelously. Oh. You're supposed to be something we're going to deal with? Can't do anything with you. And I can't kill you, so I guess we'll just ignore you. Oh, is there more money over there? I thought I got that. Oh, hello. Is he the boss? He's definitely a new creature type. Now, how bothered is he by my arrows? He flinched when I actually managed to hit him. But I'm not seeing any damage numbers pop up, so I'm not convinced it's actually doing anything. And now there are damage numbers. Took a few shots, didn't he? Wasn't going to be messing around with that. Oh, his axe broke. Assuming that stops you from taking a gigantic axe around instead. Oh, you can kill the birds! Oh, in that case... Just because I think the birds are uh, working for the big bad... We will get rid of those. Let's pop back to where we were. I'm trying to only use the... Teleport when I'm sort of going back on myself. Rather than using it as a standard means of traversal. There we go. I was going to say, that's more like it for a second. Look his giant sword. My, what a big sword you have. My, you are also pretty tough. My sword broke as well. Yeah, not trusting this thing. We didn't try shooting it, did we? 
Doesn't do anything yet. Wonder why the axe didn't kill the bird. Oh, that's something else I meant to say. The pixel mine said, as well as my uh, impressive archery skills. They mentioned that uh, based on some of the feedback I had on the range that the unarmed attackers had, they've reduced the range a little bit. And I think it was last time I pointed out that the shield doesn't actually seem to block the unarmed attacks. So Pixelmine said they would have a go at that as well and try and sort that out, which is pretty awesome. It's always amazing when a dev's like, well, we listen to you specifically. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one, I'm sure, but they probably had it on their internal maps already, roadmaps already, whatever. Stuff to do, but still, nonetheless... I love when a developer interacts with me on a video. It's so cool, just knowing that the people who actually made this are watching this. Probably horrified at my performance and thinking, well, how dumb How dumb do we have to make a game for this guy to understand it? But do what you got to do, innit? you, eh? So, I'm assuming those things aren't the boss then. So we've gone all that way. I don't know whether killing the barge did it, maybe, but this thing is now come alive so is this going to be like a save point sort of thing like a checkpoint system let's find out ah okay yeah yep that didn't do much okay i'm definitely going to start using the teleport for the fight He's pretty, uh, pretty meaty, isn't he? Maybe we can't use the tell the arrows. No, okay. Ooh! How am I doing health-wise? Not bad, actually. I'm uh, completely stuck. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to get his face from there. I don't know if that's the purpose. Or if we're supposed to climb him? No, I don't think I can climb him. No, I think he's supposed to be face down at this point. Or is he just gone? Or is he waiting for us to hit him in the face? Don't know. Have I broken it by making him fall through a wall? Oh no, he's back, okay. And his legs are back fully healed? Yes, they are, of course they are. Right, I think the shield is gonna be pretty pointless to us, but we've got it nonetheless. It's not, uh, not really noticed us at the moment, has he? I say the teleporting does make this uh, Marginally trivial, trivial, doesn't it? I thought I got him then, which is why I did not. Uh... That looks more like it, doesn't it? No. No. Huh. Well then, I am confused. It does have some lee or some, uh... Ah. Right. How is that not getting him? Ah, because he's getting back up. Damn it. Okay. Bit close, bit close, bit close, bit close, bit close. Get one. And what happened? I pressed the Oculus button. Oculus, go away. Not so far... No, we're not okay! Okay, so it's going to go down again, but now we know roughly what we're doing. So now we can get a bit of a start up here. We can climb these vines. Hopefully this time.
You weren't so big and tough in the end, were you, mate? Eh? Eh? Down you go. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Okay. And what's this? Is another lift? I stopped my movement. I'm gonna drag my axe all the way down here, leaving my mark on the walls. Kinda wish I brought a torch. Oh, hello. Oh, that's quite a nice touch. Now, I don't know if they block your if they can get blocked yet. Oh my word. Come on now. Okay, well that didn't do much for our health, did it? Is there more to go or are we talking end of the level here? We're talking end of the level here, and question mark, which says, this is the end of the early access levels for now. More content will be added soon. Let us know what you want to see next, and remember to check out Arena Mode 2. Exciting stuff. Well, there we go then. So for now, we did also unlock, that's something Indy pointed out as well, that you do uh, unlock this special shield when you finish that level. Obviously, we already had the special shield, so what did we unlock that one? I don't think we had that one before, did we? Maybe we did. Yes, yeah, so we unlocked the weapon we've already got, or the shield we've already got, so... Sort of wasted our money on that. Almost sneezed. Got very close to sneezing then. Yeah, we do have a new axe, which is something. Like we've got a new weapon. So, for now, I guess that will be the end of the Morrigan until they release a little bit more, and they've literally only released that last level quite recently. I don't think there are more arena modes, are there? No, not at the moment. So, unless you'd like to see more arena, in which case do let me know down below, obviously, then that will be the end of the Morrigan for now. Obviously, we will come back to it as they release new updates, new levels, new missions, new weapons, new enemies, all those good things. Looking forward to seeing where this game goes. Really enjoyed it so far. If you've enjoyed it and if you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. That is really genuinely appreciated. And subscribe to the channel as well, of course, if you haven't already. Any questions or comments, as I said, let me know down below. Don't forget, I do stream every Wednesday at 6pm, so this video is out on Wednesday. So if you're watching this on the day of the release, probably around four hours if it's on time after the video comes out, there will be a stream for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, getting very close to the end now. So if not this stream, maybe one more stream. It's, it's quite hard to tell with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You could have half an hour of gameplay left. You can get sidetracked and spend 20 hours doing stuff. So it's a little hard to tell. But one stream, maybe two, and then we're on to Monster Hunter World, a new stream series, which I'm very excited about trying. If I don't see you in the stream, I won't see you next time in the Morrigan. Well, at least not anytime soon, so I'll see you in some other magical VR adventure. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.